Okay, I'm going to show an extension for Jingly by Skate, which allows you to move objects around the page, or rather to decide on a path that your objects will fly in. So I'll show you what it looks like. Here we go. So all you need to do is click once on an object and it will fly to a pre uh, preset All you need to do is click on an object and it will fly to a preset a place on your page. This one flies there, this one flies there, and, and as you can see, you can also add a rotation to it. To make it fly back, you just double click on the object and it goes back to where it came from. So it will always go to the same place. Um, here's a nice little game idea how it can be used. So if I click on the ghost, it flies over here and shows me that key that was hidden and now I can click on it and get a message there. So how you make it is you need to download the template from this presentation and you need those four elements. The bottom element you only need for creating it and it can then be deleted. So what we do is we copy them all over here and okay so what we do is we copy all the four elements to our page so in this case i want these balls to fly across my page and uh, so i just need to uh, group each of the balls with one of these elements so i can uh, copy and paste it as many times as i need so you can have lots of these uh, pink elements and objects flying around so we group them each this yellow box is just the code kind of in the background and then this table is where we need to put in the exact location where we want to uh, the object to fly to and if we want rotation or not and it looks quite uh, difficult but actually with this little tool here it's really easy so what you need to do is make sure that you can move your elements across the page so highlight them and click on the hand so this is the new way of moving items across your page and now i go into preview mode and i move my object to where i want it to fly later so let's say i want this one to fly there so now i double click on it and as you can see it has automatically filled in the table it also shows me that this is object one so if you've got lots of objects it might be uh, a bit confusing to know which one is one which one is two and so on but luckily it numbers it automatically so now i move the second one let's say i want this to move there i double click and it's filled in number two and the exact location where i want it now i go back i want to turn off uh, the ability to move them because i only want them to move on click and i can get rid of this black box now that i've created it so now i need to fill this in my table so I go to the settings of the table, I go to data, Okay, so now I'm in preview mode. I can move my balls around where I want them to go when I click on them. So let's say I want this one to fly here. Now I just double click on it and it will fill in that table there automatically, showing me the exact location on the page. And I want this ball over there, so I double click and it filled it in as well. And it even shows me number one, number two. So I know that this is object one, this one is object two, which might be important if you've got lots of them. So now you just need to highlight it and copy it. So don't forget that step. Now I go back to my edit mode. I can turn off the moving feature. So I don't want them to be drag elements because I only want them to move when I click on them. And I can get rid of this 
creation box here because this is just for me to make it. Okay, so now I go on the table, click on the settings, go on to data, and in here I paste in these numbers that I've just copied. So it shows me I can change the um, transparency here. So I could make this go invisible. So let's try this out. If I go to 90% invisible and the other one, maybe I want to add a rotation. So I want it to rotate by 145 degrees as well. Okay, so let's try this out. Now I go back into preview mode. If I double click it, it should fly down there. Okay, and this one rotates. Okay, so now I'll go onto my table, go into the settings and then into the data tab. And in here I can paste all these numbers that I've just copied. And let's say I want one of them to become invisible as it flies. So I go here to transparency and put in zero. I think it only does ones and zeros for being becoming invisible and not. And I can put in a rotation. So let's say the other ball, I want to do a 360 degree spin while it's flying. Okay, let's try this out. So this is my first one. And as you can see, it becomes transparent as it flies. The other one, it rolls as it flies. So that's quite nice. Okay, you can also combine this uh, with the D&D um, extension which means that if an object um, goes to a certain area something else will happen so for example in this case if I click the computer on the pig no ah, here we go so I can also combine this with the D&D &D extension where objects need to hit certain target objects for something to appear. So for example, in this case, if I click the pig, nothing happens. But if I click the computer and it hits this box, then my red star appears. So it could, for example, be that they need to uh, move things in a certain order. You could have a game, for example, where the objects need to be clicked in the right order for things to happen.